I've been doing a bit of work. I finished with Mabel, I think. Um, and I've moved on to Emma. It's gotten kind of interesting and I wanted to share it with you guys, but this is your warning. It's gonna get gross. I've been digging some stuff up, um, just so you know, all of this stuff, that's all old baling twine that I used to partially bury them because I couldn't dig really down deep when I needed to. Um, so, I mean, there's plenty of worms too, but if you see this stuff, it's just baling twine, so it looks a little weird. But this is, uh, when I buried Emma, I wrapped her up in a really heavy duty sheet that did a very good job, apparently. So this is what I found. Um, this is your last chance. It's gross. Um, but we've got her here. I've opened up, I cut open the sheet and opened her up. We've definitely got vertebra here. And there's ribs here. That looks like a scapula right there. Um, some neck vertebra there. Um, she, her skull is not here. That's in my freezer. I'm planning on processing that so that we can have a full skull as well. Um, and I didn't want to take any chances on it being out here and I couldn't fit all of her in the freezer, but I could fit her head. I think I have Mabel's head in the freezer too. I'm not positive, but I'm going to try to set you up on a tripod so that you can watch what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. We'll try it. See what we can do. <clears throat> Here. That might not be bad. So some of this is still being held together with um, connective tissue. You can see there's even like tufts of fur. Emma was a white goat, but obviously stuff happens when you're decomposing. Um, so yeah, this is the gross stuff, but I'm finding it really interesting. So I wanted to share it. Um, this is neck vertebra. Try to make sure that I can show it to you. I have, I'll bring you over here for a second. This is what I've pulled up so far today. Um, that's all Mabel. Um, but I think I've, I think that's the last of her. This is starting the Emma pile. Actually, I should probably separate it. Let's keep this up. Emma, and Mabel can stay over there. Emma can stay closer. We got some really cool um, little knuckles more ribs. Um, we got a femur, but it's damaged, unfortunately. I'm hoping that we'll still be able to use something, use it for something. We also got her pelvis, again damaged, but it's definitely a pelvis. So that's all Mabel. We'll just move her over. There. This will be where we have Emma. <laughs> Sorry for the unintentional uh, advertisement there. It's just a very convenient working surface. Set you up. Maybe that I can see what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad, I think. Yeah, it's my first one. You guys will forgive me if it's crap, right? I can't get this. I need this leg to go down deeper. There we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. Now we got it. All right. So this is neck vertebra. Um, still held together with connective tissue. I don't know what all of this white speckling is. I'm assuming it's a mold or fungus or bacteria of some sort that's, you know, to help with the decomposition. Surprisingly, this really, I mean, it smells a little bit, but it's not bad at all. I don't, I'm not wearing a mask or Vicks or anything like that. I have no idea where this came from. Oh, I think it's a part of a neck vertebra. Um, when removing her skull, um, I got only so far and then got frustrated with my lack of ability to get through everything. So I actually did um, take out my Sawzall and uh, did the, last, the final cut with my Sawzall. And apparently this is the vertebra that I cut right through. That's what it looks like to me at least. Um, scapula. Peel back a little bit. That's a little bit of fur and even some fat still on there. There's fat still on there. She was um, in a really thick sheet, and I guess it took a while for things to get through it. So this is she's definitely much more intact than Mabel was. Mabel, most of Mabel's bones are even gone. They've taken it. But there's a nice scapula. Some some grossness. Um, 
we're going to try to get the ribs out without breaking anybody. Uh, if they're attached to the vertebra, I'll probably try to leave them. But yeah, they, they feel loose. They're very loose. There's ribs. That's connected. This is a bone of some sort, either a rib or possibly like a spinal process. I'm, I will warn you, my, my, my biology is better than the average Joe, but still really crappy compared to the experts. Really crappy compared to the experts. So I make guesses on some of these things. Some of them are reasonable guesses, but they're guesses. Um, I'm saving all of these little nuggets. Um, I think they're knuckles and such. Um, I am not sure what can be done with them, but I'm thinking they might be able to be used in like jewelry. Um, all of this is going to an artist um, so that she can make beautiful things and give these goats another life. Um, that's another vertebra. Got a bug climbing, climbing on my shoulder. Hold on, there we go. Um, let's see. I'm not sure what's connected to what. <laughs> Looks like a crab. There we go. That's kind of nice. Let's see if I can get it down where you can see it. We've got some spinal processes, some ribs, vertebra, all attached, all still together. So I'm going to. Um, bring these inside when I'm done out here and set it up with some support um, so that hopefully it can all just um, dry out and harden as it is and keep those connections. We're going to try. I feel like it's better to give her the things connected if they can be and let her take them apart if she doesn't want them connected than the other way around. Um, another rib. More ribs. And these ones are really in good shape. Another vertebra. These are really in good shape um, compared to what I got from Mabel. Mabel had definitely had a lot of rodent activity. The rats really got in there and damaged a lot of the bones. Um, I'm still going to give her the damaged bones because she might still have a use for them. But I was kind of bummed to see how many of them were so damaged. Let's see her ribs there. Down there. Down there should be where we find things like um, the pelvis and the femurs and stuff. So another nice rib. These are of course um, they're, they're still in need of. They will need to be um, cleaned first, uh, degreased, and then um, bleached. I don't use actual bleach because um, that can damage them. Uh, we'll see what we come up with for the best way to clean these off. Um, I would want to do it in the best way possible for their benefit and keep them intact. If you, if you like boil them and bleach them and stuff, it really can tear down the, the bone itself. This, what is this? How did this get here? This must be front leg. Yeah, this must be like a humerus. Oh, cool. Her, her elbow is still articulated. Look at that. And I don't see any, oh, maybe a little bit of damage up there, but that might not even be, that just might be the shape of it. It's a shoulder joint. So look at that. We've got, we've got a humerus and her foreleg, which I can't remember the names of the bones. I'm sorry. And her elbow right here, all still articulated. Even has a little bit of movement to it. That's amazing. On the back, there's a little bit of skin and fur there. We're going to keep that all together again. I'd rather have the artist take it apart if she doesn't want it together than me take it apart and then have her say, well, why didn't you keep it together? Looks like, let's see, can you still see where I am? Yeah, here's another scapula. Perfect, perfect condition. Another little knuckle bone type thing. And vertebra. Oh, 
Um, I might take a break so I can dig in there a little bit more. We've got, you know, there's another front leg here somewhere. Um, there's definitely more Emma here. But let's shift so that you guys can see back a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stop here and start another one because this is going to take forever to upload. I'm going to just do it in chunks so that we don't end up losing the videos altogether because they can't upload. Okay, I'll be back.